A ratio is a comparison by division. Let's practice representing a situation using a ratio. In this situation, we have the ratio, there are two boys for every girl. We can represent this same ratio three different ways. The first way we can represent ratios is by using the word two. Since we have two boys for every one girl, we have a two to one ratio of boys to girls. The second way we can represent a ratio is by using a colon. We read it the same as when we use the word two, but now we have a colon instead of the word. We can again represent this boys to girls ratio on the cross country team as two to one. The last way we can represent a ratio is as a fraction. Since our ratio is two boys for every girl, we have a ratio of two over one. We can also write the inverse of this relationship and compare girls to boys. We can also say that there is one girl for every two boys or as a fraction of one half. These fractions are not equivalent. However, we can use either of them depending on how we're talking about this situation. Not only can we represent the same ratio using the word two, a colon, or as a fraction, we can also represent the same situation by looking at it multiple different ways. We can represent this situation with a ratio of boys to girls, which we already said is a ratio of two to one. We can also represent this situation as a ratio of girls to boys. We know that there are two boys for every one girl, so we also know that there's one girl for every two boys. These two ratios are called part-to-part -part ratios. They compare the quantity of one thing to the quantity of another thing. We can also compare the number of boys to the total number of teammates. If we have two boys and one girl, that means we have a total of three teammates. In order to write this as a ratio of boys to total, we know that we have two boys out of three total, so our ratio is two to three. Lastly, we can compare the number of girls to the total. Again, we still have a total of three teammates, and one of those three teammates is a girl. This time, we have a ratio of one to three. These kinds of ratios are called part to whole. They compare the quantity of part of the group to the quantity of the whole group. Here we have a similar situation, but this time we have a ratio of three purple balloons for every two blue balloons. We can represent this situation with a ratio of purple balloons to blue balloons, which is a ratio of three to two. We can also represent the situation as a ratio of blue to purple. We have two blue balloons and three purple balloons, which gives us a ratio of two thirds. These two again are called part to part ratios. They compare the quantity of purple balloons to the quantity of blue balloons. We can also compare the number of each color balloon to the total number of balloons. We have three purple balloons out of a total of five balloons, which is a ratio of three fifths. Or we can look at the ratio of blue balloons to the total. We have two blue balloons out of a total of five balloons, which is a ratio of two fifths. These kinds of ratios are called part to whole. They are comparing the quantity of each color of balloon to the total quantity of balloons. We can express a situation using multiple representations of a ratio. Ratios are a comparison of quantities by division.